Right, so here we have a finished kit and this is pretty much as it will come out of the box to you. The only difference being that this battery will not be connected. Um, it's safer to ship disconnected. So just pop it in. As you can see, black wire, red wire. It shouldn't go around the other way around. Um, you've got your screen here. Um, these two long wires go to your LEDs, which you need to pop through the front of your gun kit next to the screen. Um, the 3 dpr one comes with the holes, I think. Uh, if you're not sure where and you have to drill your own, check the film. There's plenty of screenshots. Um, this sticking up here is the power switch. That's going to go where your trigger is. And that comes down to this jumper here. Um, as I said, everything should be connected. I will be sending it out boxed with all the connectors connected. But this video lets you know where everything goes just in case something wobbles loose in the post, which it shouldn't. Um, as you can see, this is a generic dread kit. And I'll just go through what everything should do when you get it. So, so once your battery is plugged in, um, if you just press the trigger once, so at the moment there's no RFID tag near the antenna. So it should come up, say it's testing for an ID, and then it'll say ID fail. So if you check that first, that's how it behaves, and then it'll power off. So then we put a tag there, turn it on. It'll go through the same motion, and it should say ID pass. If it doesn't say ID pass at that point, something's gone wrong with your kit. As I said, I will test these before they come out. Well, um, so if you get it and it doesn't pass these basic tests, then something's gone wrong in transit, so get in touch. Um, you can, as you see, the basic functionality is, if we can just focus on that, it says 50. You just click on the trigger, your ammo that you've got selected will go down. If you hold down the trigger, It'll change ammo types. And obviously the ammo on that will go down. So we're holding the trigger down. If you hold the trigger down for 10 seconds, it'll say power off. The red LED will come on, but it won't actually power off until you release it, at which point, there you go, your kit's off. So what I'd recommend is once you've got your kit, check everything's connected, check it does those basic things, um, and then you're good to go with uh, whatever you're housing it in. So enjoy.